Hello everybody and welcome to our daily check-in. Um, this week we have been, or I should say, I've been talking about certain movies that I enjoy very much, but movies that also connect to some type of theme or moral that I wanted to kind of pass along to you guys. Um, so today there are three movies I want to talk about uh, that I do enjoy these movies very much, uh, for different reasons, but they do have one thing in common. So the first movie that I wanted to talk about is the movie Miracle, right? So that's the Disney movie about the 1980 um, U.S. Olympic hockey team. And, you know, that's the last time the United States, in 1980, when that movie takes place, it's the last time the United States men's hockey team has won the, um, the gold medal, right? So in this movie, they take all these kids from colleges throughout the country and they put them together to form this team. And um, originally the group who was responsible for coming up with the team, according to the movie, and I don't know if this is all true or not, I mean obviously certain movies sometimes, although they're based on true events, it's not always 100% accurate, but um, they didn't like the choice that the coach had made. Uh, they thought they were better players, but the coach wanted people who could play as a team, right? Work together. Um, so that's kind of one of the big themes. And, you know, throughout the beginning of the movie, there's these, you know, the coach would say, who do you play for? And they would say their name and who do you play for? And they'd always say their name and their college. Um, until finally, uh, Mike Arruzzioni in the movie, and the reason why I have a special liking to him is because he played at Boston University and that is where I graduated college. But he finally says, my name is Mike Arruzzioni and when the coach asked who do you play for, he said I play for the United States of America. And that was a turning point in the movie. But the reason why I like this movie so much, I mean besides the obvious that the US wins the gold medal, which is pretty cool, is that it shows how people who um, in college that just didn't get along, uh, their schools were big time rivals, learned to work together. But it's also about the world telling them they weren't good enough to win. And they did anyway because they played as a team, they worked together. So you can overcome some big time odds if you work with other people, right? So um, there's strength in numbers, but it's also being part of a team, which is really important. Um, and looking out for one another and being supportive of one another. And that's kind of like what being on a team is. You guys are on a team in school, right? Um, obviously this year is almost over and it's not exactly a year that anybody would have expected, right? Um, however, there's just something nice about being a part of something bigger than yourself. And just like your family, you're a part of something bigger than yourself. So you work together as a team. So that's kind of why I really like that movie. And plus it's an emotional thing when they, they beat the Soviets, um, which hadn't lost in like forever. Um, and the place just went wild. That's why they, you know, Al Michaels, when he says, do you believe in miracles? You know, well, there was the miracle. Um, and they have not won since. So I think that's also why that movie is so nostalgic. So the second movie that I wanted to talk about is a cartoon. And it is Kung Fu Panda. I love those movies. I mean, I like Jack Black, who is the voice of Poe. But the reason why I like this movie is that, you know, Poe in the beginning is really trying to search for meaning in his own life. And he accidentally gets chosen as the dragon warrior, at least in his eyes, he is accidentally chosen. Until you realize that it wasn't an accident because um, Yugue, I think it was Yugue, he's the one who looks at him and pretty much he can see um, maybe what other people can't see. And that's kind of like how it is in life, right? You know, other people see your potential and sometimes you can't even see your own potential and you need someone else to kind of help guide you. And that's kind of like what we're doing as teachers and that's what your parents are doing as well. We see the potential in you guys. And sometimes when you guys look in the mirror, you don't even see the potential in yourself. Um, so, and he learns to believe. And once you can believe, it goes a long way. Now, I'm not talking about um, a false sense of like, I'm really awesome at all these things, even though maybe you're not, because it's just like fake ego, or whatever it might be. But if people are telling you they believe in you, and they're telling you, you know, through specific examples of what you're doing that is good, you know, you should be able to uh, believe what they have to say, right? So he becomes uh, the dragon warrior and he realizes that, 
you know, they're trying to look for this special, you know, recipe or secret or something to make you even more powerful. And, you know, when he finds this particular image and he sees just like a, it's like a mirror of himself, he realizes there is no secret uh, ingredient. There's no secret recipe. You know, it's you. You're the ones who make your dreams come true. You are the ones that, um, that work hard and learn things and get skilled at things and become better people. You're the ones that are responsible for that. So I, I thought that was a good message. It's a great movie. I like him. The last one, I'm going to show another Disney Infinity character. It's Captain America. I mean, I teach American history. I like red, white, and blue, as you can see. Um, but Captain America, this movie I really enjoyed. And it's all in the same theme. Um, you know, before he became captain, right, he was a soldier. He was lucky to actually be a soldier, but he was like super skinny and not strong. He got bullied and picked on. Um, and they were going to make this army of super soldiers for World War II um, to help beat uh, the Nazis and Hydra and all that other stuff. So um, it's interesting because they put all these men to the test. Like there's an example in the movie where they take a hand grenade and they throw it on the ground. I mean, it's a fake, but they don't know that. They throw it on the ground and all the soldiers run away. But him, he jumps on top of it because he's more concerned about protecting his fellow soldiers. And it was actions like that which made them pick him as the first person to become one of these super soldiers. Now, the machine will break. That is why there's only one Captain America. However, Ed, with this Captain American super soldier type of uh, stuff, the goal was basically whatever you are on the inside, it would intensify. So if you were really mean and nasty and cruel, this would just make you worse, right? So, but since he was a good person, it just made him that much better. So, you know, sometimes you're gonna see people in your life, and you may be these people, I don't know, who the world looks at as weak or looks at as not important or whatever it is. Um, but you are really, sometimes you're the people that, you know, have the best qualities and the things that make the world a better place. Um, you know, so that's why you don't really want to judge people. You don't want to pick on people. You just want to make sure that you treat people fairly and you treat them based on their character, right? Um, but I also want you to know that don't underestimate yourself, okay? So, you know, people underestimated that hockey team in 1980 and yet they won, right? People underestimated uh, the abilities of Poe in Kung Fu Panda, yet he became a Kung Fu uh, master, so to speak, after his movies, right? And then people underestimate the ability of the soldier until he turns into Captain America. And, you know, these are all in common, the idea that you can be a, um, you can, if you believe in yourself and you work really hard, you know, you can get all those wonderful qualities that you have uh, inside, you know, so that's kind of the thing is like people might underestimate you and if they want to underestimate you That's fine, but don't ever underestimate yourself Okay, because um, if you underestimate yourself or you feel like you can't do it, then you're not going to be able to do it It's like that self-fulfilling prophecy So that's why some of these movies kind of get you going because it makes you feel good and it, it, you get a chance to root for the underdog so to speak so those are the movies for today, right? So um, Captain America, Kung Fu Panda, and um, Miracle. So um, I don't know if Kung Fu Panda is on Disney, probably not, but I'm pretty sure Miracle and um, the Captain America movie is probably on Disney Plus, but I digress. So I would say um, when you're looking at movies, obviously look at them for the enjoyment of the movie for what they are. But a lot of movies are trying to teach you something, right? So try to, sometimes you have to be open-minded to be able to see that message. So today's message is basically don't underestimate people and don't underestimate yourself. So right now, you know, if you look out in the world, it seems not like a great place, right? I mean, there's a lot of news, a lot of things going on in this country right now. Um, but I don't want you to underestimate the ability of people to get along, the ability to make the world a better place. I don't want you to underestimate the fact that um, you matter and that everyone around us, we all matter and we're in it together. And I don't mean like, you know, this coronavirus situation. I mean, you know, we all live on this planet and we want to live in a world um, where we can all get along. 
So don't underestimate the power of love. Don't underestimate the power of compassion and empathy because those are things that really can make this world a better place, okay? And definitely don't underestimate, definitely do not underestimate the power of kindness, okay? There's a lot of hate in the world, okay? And that's kind of like a disease, right? It spreads. So I like to think of kindness like, um, like a virus, not necessarily a bad one, but like a good one. And that can spread too, right? So let's spread kindness. Um, and it starts in the home, right? So we start being kind to the people around us, and then we start being kind to the people in our community, and then the people in our state, and then the people in the country, and then the people in the world. Um, and if people start doing that, then you know things will start to look up, okay? But just don't lose hope, all right? Because um, I have to believe that things are going to get better uh, in all situations, and then we will get to go move forward and I won't say back the way it used to be okay because I want to live in a world where everybody is friendly and caring compassionate but also understanding that um, <clears throat> we don't want to take things for granted right I took for granted the fact of going to the grocery store or going shopping or just going out for a ride whereas now I really have to think about it um, so I'm looking forward to being able to do those things again and summer is coming um, if anything, I'm looking to be able to be outside in my yard um, and then just enjoying some fresh air. So until our next check-in, okay, until our next check-in, I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you about you guys always. Okay, peace out.